in this theater where astronauts train to go to the moon. On this campus, where students are becoming leaders in science, medicine, business, and law. At this university, where people like you are following their passions. Making breakthrough discoveries about the world around them. Capturing the beauty of life through their art. And bringing us to our feet with their athletic skill and heart. Their journey takes them to every county in our state and to the far reaches of the globe. Whether around the corner or students, professors, and staff are working to improve lives. But no matter where they go, they are just like you, coming from small towns and from big cities. And they all carry hopes and dreams for creating a better universe. Follow in their footsteps. Your journey starts here. Welcome to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And welcome to Moorhead Planetarium and Science Center. Mars, the fourth planet from the sun, a desert world of rock and iron that has captured human imagination for thousands of years. So close, its reddish color can be seen in the night sky, but much farther than anyone has ever ventured. Orbiters launched from Earth were the first instruments to capture close-up photographs of the alien landscape from space. These were followed by surface exploration robots that gave scientists a ground-level view of the Red Planet. From the data collected on these missions, scientists believe that Mars was once similar to Earth with oceans of water and a thick atmosphere capable of supporting life. The more we learn about Mars and how it came to look as it does today, the more we will understand our own planet's past and quite possibly our future. While orbiters and robots have made amazing discoveries, they can't match the scientific potential of a team of astronauts. This is Mission Commander Cop Shadow for the landing module. This is the Aventus 1 spacecraft, a concept vehicle that could carry the first humans to Mars and back. Roger that, Commander, reading you loud and clear. Separation check was complete, no abnormalities. The crew of the Aventus mission could explore more of the Mars surface in one hour than a robot lander could in a month. But getting them there won't be easy. This will be the longest journey ever attempted by human beings. To be successful, we'll need to overcome incredibly difficult challenges. Challenges that make this mission to Mars the ultimate Voyage. The last time, 304, 13, 52, 20. We're in Mars Atmosphere Engine Interface plus 30. We are going for separation. This mission to Mars will depend on the next generation of great minds and dreamers. And we are clear. Entry angle looking good. One, two, three, shallow. Tens of thousands of creative thinkers, scientists, and engineers. People who are still in school now will one day make this ultimate voyage a reality. That's a Velocity rate nominal. None of this will be attempted unless one thing can be ensured. That we can get the astronauts back to Earth. Safely land robots on the surface of Mars. But sending people 
requires a lot more work and planning. Humans evolved on Earth with its thick atmosphere, strong gravity, and wide variety of life. As the population grew, complex social structures formed. These factors help shape who we are and what we need. In order to send humans to Mars, NASA teams need to solve five major challenges. How do we traverse the incredible distance from Earth farther than we've ever gone before? How do we make sure that the inside of the spacecraft is a healthy environment? The astronauts will be isolated from everyone they know back on Earth. How do we ensure that their minds remain clear and focused? Gravity in space and on Mars is very different than on Earth. How do we keep human bodies strong and capable? And finally, how do we keep the astronauts safe from dangerous radiation during their long journey in space? Teams at NASA have been working on these challenges for decades, but they haven't been completely solved. To be successful, this mission needs new team members to help get humans to the red planet and back. It can be like the difference between walking next door and walking around the world. As the International Space Station, the ISS, orbits Earth, it travels 400 kilometers above our planet. The trip to get there takes only a few hours. The journey to the moon, however, is a thousand times farther. At over 400,000 kilometers, it's the greatest distance humans have ever traveled. It took the Apollo astronauts three days to fly from the Earth to the moon. And the voyage from Earth to Mars will take much, much longer. At least 10 months will be needed to travel over 600 million kilometers. 10 months to travel over 1,000 times farther than any humans have ever traveled before. A journey of this distance may seem impossible, but NASA has been preparing for years. Starting with the earliest space missions, an American mathematician and computer scientist, Margaret Hamilton, laid the groundwork for humans to travel beyond Earth. Thanks to these early trailblazers, the Eventus Navigation and Flight Path teams will be able to calculate the route to get the astronauts to Mars and back. But even the fastest route will keep the crew traveling in space for over two years. And two years of travel means two years of supplies. Everything the crew could possibly need for this voyage must be planned, prepped, and packed before departure. Stakes couldn't be higher. If one essential item is overlooked, the entire mission could fail. Specialized engineers will calculate how much food, water, and other small spaces, leaving enough room for the astronauts to live and work. Proper planning is crucial. Once the Eventus One begins its historic voyage, there is no turning back. Over two years. Keeping the living area of a vehicle like this healthy for humans is the next major challenge of long-distance spaceflight. Without proper planning, this high-tech home in space could quickly become a sealed tomb of germs and toxic gases, a hostile, closed environment. Fortunately, experts in the NASA Human Research Program have designed technologies that can keep the spacecraft clean and safe for the crew. Special lighting that kills microbes is already in use on the ISS. 
so teams have a good start for developing the technology to keep surfaces clean. Advanced air cleaning systems also need to be developed to remove germs and toxins without wasting a single molecule of oxygen. To keep the crew healthy and ensuring they have a clean habitat will require team members with a passion for studying germs and viruses or tinkering with electronic devices. While it's essential that our crew has a safe environment, determining what they'll eat is equally important. Even before humans venture into space, having enough food has been a challenge during long distance travel. The most frequent cause of death on a sea voyage wasn't a pirate attack or raging storms. It was packing the wrong food to eat. Ships would be loaded with supplies but they often lack the fresh fruits and vegetables necessary to prevent a disease called scurvy. This illness, caused by not getting enough vitamin C, led to many crew members of these early expeditions getting sick and even dying. We can't let anything like that happen on the way to Mars. Robert had a wide variety of factors to develop the best food for the Aventus crew. While proper nutrition will be the most important consideration, we've also learned that delicious foods make people happy. In space, the sense of taste can be dull, so astronauts prefer bold and spicy flavors. The advanced food technology research team at NASA needs people with a passion for creating delicious and nutritious foods. Of course, these meals also need to be packaged in ways that keep them tasting great while remaining fresh. The Aventus mission needs over two years worth of food and supplies packed into a clean, self-sufficient craft. But our crew will face another challenge of long-distance spaceflight. Isolation. smell, taste, and touch. Our brains are wired to react to these inputs and respond. On Earth, too many inputs and too much change can make life difficult. But on a long space mission like this, the challenge is just the opposite. Too little change. For the majority of the trip, everything will be exactly the same. If everything is going as planned, nothing unexpected will ever happen. Living in an environment where nothing changes can have a very negative impact on the brain. Every task, meal, or interaction will wear away the crew's mental health if proper steps aren't taken. One solution, keep the crew constantly engaged in meaningful and relevant activities. They need to be kept busy in just the right ways. Sending humans into space is about a lot more than rocket science. NASA's Behavioral Health and Performance Program needs people interested in human behavior and psychology to research ways for the crew to stay focused and content. Finding solutions to prevent the effects of isolation on the minds of astronauts is key. When there are important tasks to be done, weightlessness becomes a big problem. You see, the human body evolved to function with a pull of Earth's gravity. Before humans went to space, we didn't realize how much the planet's gravitational field affects muscles, bones, and the inner workings of our bodies. That constant force, which can make even small movements hard for some of us, is one of the things that give our bones strength. Without proper planning, the extended periods of microgravity that our astronauts will be exposed to will make their bones so brittle and their muscles so weak that the first step on Mars could be disastrous. And experts who study muscle and bone health are experimenting with ways to ensure that astronauts' skeletons 
and muscles are ready for anything they might encounter on the mission. Special types of exercise with extra resistance that mimics the forces on Earth is the key to preventing deterioration from months in a microgravity environment. And there are probably other solutions out there as well. Technologies developed for the Mars mission might come from a team member whose physical struggles here on Earth have given them great ideas about exercise in space. In the years ahead, we'll be essential to getting astronauts safely to Mars and back to Earth. Asian particles are so small. They can travel between atoms, the elements that make up everything in the universe. That means they can shoot right through the walls of the Aventus 1 and everything inside, even the astronauts. While these tiny particles don't leave holes that can be seen, the damage they cause to the human body is immense. Radiation particles can break apart human DNA the building blocks that tell our bodies how to grow and function. Damage to DNA can be devastating to the human body, impairing an astronaut's ability to perform even simple tasks on the mission. If the proper steps aren't taken, our crew will be at a But it still needs to land on the red planet itself. Copy that. High deployment at T minus 10. Earth's thick atmosphere provides drag on vehicles returning from space, allowing for a slow descent and safe landing. I have deployment engaged, full pressure and holding. Mars atmosphere is too thin for parachutes to slow this NASA landing craft. So new approaches need to be developed. An expandable heat shield that can protect the craft and provide much needed drag might be part of the final landing plan. Coming up on landing radar activation. Got it. Landing radar engaged. In a matter of minutes, the landing module has to slow from a blazing 19,000 kilometers per hour to eight to ensure a safe landing at the exact location we choose to explore. Billions of humans on Earth will be waiting for word of the touchdown, and thousands will be working tirelessly to make it happen. This dream can only be realized if we assemble the right teams to overcome a long-distance spaceflight. Solving these problems will make the mission possible, but there is much more work to be done to make the mission a success. Vehicles, habitats, and supplies created by robotic and structural engineers will need to be ready on Mars before the human crew arrives. These technologies will enable the crew to achieve their mission of exploring and learning as much as possible from the Red Planet during their time on the surface. The work is already underway, but we'll need the next generation of minds to join this great endeavor to build on the countless triumphs of space exploration that came before. Thank you.